We got milk, and we're, we we have a, a special appearance from the, the tethered from us. No, I mean I'm I'm very happy to be part of this um, celebration of Halloween, my favorite season, and and to be part of this tradition of Universal Monsters. I hope and pray to God I'm trying to come back. I'm spoiler alert. All right, so pause right now. I'm alive! I made it! I made it! So, because originally I was not supposed to make it, so now that I made it, I'm like, please, like, it's for a reason, right? Like, I'm hoping, but I have no clue. I have no idea, but I want it. I hope y'all want it. Yeah, yeah, I grew up coming all the time when I was like 16 years old. My first introduction to Universal, like, the whole studio was more nice. So, this place. Okay, favorite tradition is just eating candy and watching scary movies and honestly going to Halloween Horror Nights. Like, I, I've been coming here for 11 years, I've never missed a year. And I always go to opening night, but now to be like doing this stuff for opening night, I'm just like, oh, 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 oh. So. Halloween is ending. Is it though? <laughs> Good question. Nicely put. <laughs> you know, what can I say? Um, it is ending in a way, for sure. Um, but it started in a way that was unexpected for me. I didn't expect to ever do another Halloween. And five years ago, uh, David Gordon Green called me with an idea to do a ha one Halloween, which we did in 2018. I didn't know it was a trilogy. I found that out sort of when they were editing that movie. He was like, by the way, it's a trilogy. And it was like, okay. And now we've made these three movies. And I, I do understand the progression of them, what they've said uh, emotionally, what they've said politically, what they've said sociologically. And I feel like we've really said it. We've done it in these three movies. I do live in a professional scene of Halloween, but uh, but it's great when the actual holiday comes. I don't have to pretend. I love dressing up. I dress up all year round. As my wife will tell you, she's very upset about it. But it's great to get to dress up when everyone else does, so I'm not weird. For, for at least for a day or a month, I'm not weird. The rest of the time, I'm very weird. The Halloween Horror Night is amazing. It's a great start. We're in a different place here than I've usually been. And, uh, Halloween. There's a very good time. It's a, the timeline is very positive. Very positive. It's a very good timeline. And all you fans out there who are very agitated are going to be calmed very soon. It is. It's over. It's done. The movies are over. The holiday will continue, but the movies are done. They're finished. You see this last one, you're done. I'm done with them. Listen, if someone else decides to make them, they could do that, but I'm done. We're done. This is our last Halloween. You heard it here first. Anyway, it's, it's days on the street for a long time. You've got to get a needle and put it in and then you get a little later on, right? Spooling around and, uh... Okay, I'm taking notes. Let me try it. All right. The pumpkins. Love I, a pumpkin. <laughs> and I immediately bring anything with like pine cones and things into my house. Immediately. Yeah. Really? I, uh, yeah. Scented pine cones. I just get really into it the day before Halloween. I'm like, okay, I have this whole elaborate idea. And then like it never fully yeah. <laughs> comes to fruition. So I kind of fail. But yeah. it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs>